So we know that uh, the rock displaces a volume of water. Essentially, we know that the rock displaces a volume of water uh, with a weight of, and we can then say 39.2 newtons minus 28.4 newtons. This is equaling 10.8 newtons. And so the mass of this much water, we can say the mass of this water would be equaling 10.8 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. This is going to be equaling uh, 1.102 kilograms. And so its volume, which is equal to the rock's volume, would be 1.102 kilograms uh, divided by 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. This is equaling 1.102 times 10 to the negative third cubic meters. This would be the essentially the volume of the rock, and this would be equal. This would be equal to the volume of the water, which is essentially the volume of the rock, um, because the rock placing this much water. And so the weight of the unknown liquid displaced, we can say that then the weight of unknown liquid would be equaling 39.2 newtons minus 21.5 newtons. This is equaling 17.7 newtons. And so we can say that then the mass of the liquid is going to be equaling 17.7 newtons divided by the acceleration due to gravity. And this is equaling 1.806 kilograms. And so the density of the unknown liquid would simply be equal to this mass, 1.806 kilograms, divided by the volume that we had found previously, 1.102 times 10 to the negative third cubic meters. And so we find that the density of the unknown liquid is 1.64 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. This would be our final answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.